Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day today. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with a brand new collection from Elf Cosmetics. And it's the Mint Melt Collection. I just got this box in the mail yesterday and I really wanted to unbox it and show you guys what's inside and also create a makeup look with it, which is why my eyes are so bare. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so they did have a lot of different items in the collection, but I didn't need most of the items. I was actually shopping for my setting powder. This is my favorite setting powder, is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, and I'm in the shade Medium. And this is nice for dry skin. So I was shopping for that, and then this new collection popped up, and I saw it on Instagram. So I decided to get a few things because e.l.f. makeup is so, so affordable. I didn't feel like I was wasting money, so I did get this brush set which i am obsessed with eye brushes so i really like the color too i love the color mint so pretty and i think it's a really nice color for i don't know for displaying around this time of year or like right before springtime so in this set you get an all over eyeshadow brush an eye contour brush and a blending brush but i'll show you guys the brush set when we get into the tutorial i also got the mint melt cleansing cloud I won't be able to try this on today because I'm not going to be, I don't know, like washing my face with it today. But maybe I'll do like a, a future favorite products video. I really like watching those. So I might do one of those soon and maybe I'll include this or an update on it. But I just really, I use too many like wipes, um, makeup removing wipes. And I really will like an alternative to that. So when I saw this, it was so affordable. I really wanted to try it out. I'll have the prices here. In case you guys are wondering because i totally forgot i know that everything is like under five dollars then first of all though i forgot to say i really like their packaging i like how everything was packaged it felt almost like a like a subscription box oh these are so adorable okay so i did get every shade of the lip gloss they have four lip glosses this is how they look since they were so affordable i went ahead and got all four of them this one has some really nice like green glitter in it. This one is a little bit more clear. This one's a lighter, I want to say like terracotta brown. And this is a warmer brown. But we will be getting into that. And then I also got the two eyeshadow palettes, of course. I'm obsessed with eyeshadow palettes, as you guys know. So I have like three or four of the other um, four pan palettes and I really like the formula but these are the brand new palettes. So we have, this is the Meant To Be palette, which honestly, I know ColourPop has a mint eyeshadow palette with the same exact name, Meant To Be, and I own it. I haven't used it yet, but I do own that. And then the other one is called Chocolate Mint. Really cute names. And I think I might even like use them both together for a look, but we'll get into that in a second. Okay guys, so here's a closer look at Meant To Be. This is Meant To Be and this is Meant To Be swatched. So you can get an idea of how it looks. Really pretty shimmers right there. And then here is Chocolate Mint right here, just really closer to you. So you can get an idea of how Chocolate Mint looks and here's the swatch. Really pretty too. I'm debating what kind of look I want to create. So if you think about it, you can get this, like these four eyeshadows for $8 total and create sort of like a, a mint eyeshadow palette with some browns, which reminds me a little bit of the Meant To Be palette from ColourPop. But this one has the browns, which I really, really like. But let me go ahead and think about what I'm going to create and we'll get started with the tutorial. So I'm just taking out the brushes to see how much they really will help me with today's look. And these are the three brushes. Like I said earlier, I love the color, so pretty. So you have a crease brush here and an all over shadow brush, like a lid brush. And then a blending brush, okay. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna inc incorporate these brushes into my look, but I won't be using just these because yeah, I need some other brushes to complete the look. The first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids using my NYX eyeshadow base in the shade white. And I'm just gonna use my finger to blend this all over my eyelids. This is really moisturizing. 
which is why I've been using it so much and I don't want to venture out into a different one because I have very dry eyelids right now. So I'm going to use the blending brush and I'm going to dip into that minty green shade in the, this is the meant to be palette. And I'm just going to dip into that and I'm going to buff this into my crease. Whoa. And I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how pigmented this is. So let's see. So just like I thought, it's very, um, obviously it's not super pigmented. It's like a pastel mint shade. So I think I'm going to go with a more lighter look today. Just because I've been playing a lot with darker greens and browns. And I already applied this. So this brush is not as like fluffy as I would like it to be. I think it's nicer to like I think it's nicer to like apply things precisely, not more, not so much. Well, I guess you can blend. It's just not my favorite blending brush. But it's nice to like add a new brush to my collection. Because no matter how many times I wash all my brushes, I am always running out. So yes, guys, I'm just going to take my time blending that into my crease. And then we'll see what I'll do next. Okay, guys, next I'm going to go into the dark, well, the darkest green shimmer in either palette. This is the Meant to Be palette again. And it's this beautiful shimmer right here. And I'm going to apply it with my finger to my center lid just to make sure that I have enough pigment. What a pretty shimmer. Okay, next I'm taking this. Um, it's actually from e.l.f. It's a concealer brush, a very small concealer brush. And it's like a flat, tiny lid brush. That's what it looks like to me. And I'm just going to perfect the application of that shimmer to make sure that I have a nice, even line on my lid. Okay guys, so now I'm debating what to do next to get a little bit of contrast. I'm really more, more focused on the Meant to Be palette just because I've been using so much browns lately. So I'm going to try like this green, this gray. I'm kind of nervous. It's gray with like a grayish greenish color. I'm kind of nervous. I've never tried colors like that. I'm going to tap off the excess. But I am going, I'm using the contour brush. To me, it looks like a, like a very kind of bigger crease brush and I'm kind of going to place this on my outer corner and I'm going to bend it upwards and into my crease to try to create some contrast. I do like that color. I think it really complements the whole mint vibe really nicely. It looks more grayish in the pan, but it applied more green than it did gray. And I think that it really gave me the contrast that I was looking for because it's not super green. It's more on the mint side of green. So I appreciate that. And I actually really do like it. So I'm just taking my time kind of blending it into my crease and also creating an outer V shape with the edge of the this contour brush. I just don't want to I don't want the shimmer to disappear so I will be like reapplying that. But I did like how that shadow applied. Okay guys, now I'm not reapplying this to my center lid. This is the darkest green shimmer from the Meant to Be palette. Now, just to make sure that I use more than one shimmer, I'm gonna dip into this light mint green 
from the chocolate mint palette and i'm gonna apply this to like my inner lid so just here not my inner corner my inner lid right here and i'm gonna blend it into that other shimmer to make sure that we have a nice and seamless transition between the shimmers that one is so pretty too wow i'm actually really liking this whole mint vibe makes me excited for spring we're still in january but i want spring i love it this one is very uh i want to say velvety it's not the right word like very soft and i feel like it's bright i feel like it's um i do really like what that did nice then for my lower lash line i think i will go in with that same like dark gray green matte shade just because i kind of want to go for a more monochromatic mint eyeshadow look today just because i like how it's going so far wow this is pigmented you guys need to make sure that you tap off your excess i always forget to do that i think it's a really nice shade for um for your lower lash line because it's really pigmented, but it's, it's also not as gray as you would think it is. I went a little bit overboard. I'll clean that up. I honestly don't love it. Uh, I don't love it a whole lot, but it's pretty. But I will clean that up down here a little bit. It's just not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not crazy about it, but I am thinking to be doing like white eyeliner in my waterline. And I think the details, I think the details will probably like make it all come together. But what else? Like I'm missing something. I think that for my inner corner, I'm going in with this beautiful, gorgeous shimmer from the Meant to Be palette. It's like the lightest um, shimmer with a tiny hint of green, but it looks more silvery to me. And I'm going to apply this to my inner corner. That's pretty. Really just gorgeous. Wow. I love a good shimmer. And I'm just going to kind of blend that. Okay. Okay, guys. So I really wanted to swatch the glosses for you guys before I went ahead and picked the lip color out. So we have, so starting on top, we have chocolate mint right here. Then we have mint chocolate. Then this clear looking one is called a hint of mint. And lastly, we have mint sprinkle. So I think I'm going to do like a brown lip liner. And I really want this on top. That's such a pretty one with the sparkles maybe like that brown lip gloss but let me go ahead and apply that and i'll show you guys how it looks okay guys so first i'm going to show you the lips i actually love how it turned out so the first thing i went with is my my favorite brown um lip liner and this is from beauty vault and it's in the shade cozy kira and then i just decided to go with the sparkly lip topper and this is in the shade mint sprinkle and it's so perfect and pretty and like the perfect amount of mint with the brown. So I used the lip liner all over my lips like as a lipstick and then just went with this right on top and loved it. But either way, I haven't shown you my eyes yet. This is how my eyes turned out. What do you guys think? I went with a white liner for my waterline and some pretty dramatic lashes because I love dramatic lashes but yeah this is the final look what do you guys think i actually really like how it turned out i think it kind of brought me out of my comfort zone because i'm used to doing greens with browns and like darker greens but i really love how it looks and it makes me think of spring and i cannot wait for spring i think i'm next time i'm going to play more with the browns like just being at home because i've done a lot of tutorials with greens and browns lately but overall, I really was impressed with the quality of these products, especially for the price. They're super, super affordable. So I definitely recommend them. If you have the other ColourPop palette meant to be or any kind of palette like that, you might not need it. But again, it's so affordable that why not? It's only $4 for the palette. And these lip glosses are lip plumping. I definitely feel something going on, but I do like how 
they feel on the lips but i think that's the end of today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up for me don't forget to subscribe before you go and i'll see you guys in my next video enjoy the rest of your day bye guys